Do you think the government is getting the message that Australia's relationship with China can't be the same after coronavirus that it was before? Well, it's such an important relationship. Uh, it is a, a, a growing power uh, economically, military-wise. Uh, we can't ignore China being in our region. And, of course, uh, now we have uh, changes in uh, the, the, our, our circumstances with China. Uh, I have uh, over a uh, almost, or in fact over a year now, tried on several occasions, I think this would be number six, to try and get a positive uh, and in-depth inquiry up into our relationship with China uh, in the Senate, but I've been unsuccessful. Both major parties have resisted that. Maybe we'll see a change as a result of uh, the, the change in international circumstances now. Do you think that the government is getting that message, though? We've seen them move to increase trade subsidies to get trade relationships back up and running with China. We're really reliant on them to get the personal protective equipment for dealing with coronavirus in a health setting. Do you think that there is that just sentiment within the government that they do want to go back to what the relationship was like with China before the pandemic? Oh, look, I think there's no question as we come out of uh, the COVID-19 crisis that we have to rethink the way we... Uh, uh, approach decisions in relation to, to things like procurement in relation to investment here in Australia to make sure that uh, uh, value for money also considers the need for self-reliance, uh, which hasn't occurred in the past. The fact that we got uh, to, to this point in the crisis where only in uh, May we were looking for uh, uh, the way in which industry could uh, contribute to PPE, and indeed it was April before the government uh, looked to industry to say, how do we make COVID-19 uh, test equipment, uh, tells us that there is a significant problems in, uh, problem in relation to self-reliance, and we have to address that. So we have to uh, approach things differently coming out the other side of COVID-19. Do you want to see China take more responsibility for the outbreak and the lack of information that was shared, in particular at the beginning of the outbreak, that could have helped stem the spread of the coronavirus globally? I think we do need to look at all aspects of the uh, pandemic. Uh, you know, in actual fact, Australia had um, or has had more cases that derive from Europe and from the United States than it had uh, from China. So we really shouldn't just uh, zoom in on one particular country in terms of looking at uh, how this started and then spread. Uh, we'd need to look at it more broadly and uh, see what lessons can be learned. Uh, but, but taking a look from an inter a, a broader international perspective. And we've also had a bit of a stoush between uh, Liberal and Labor MPs this morning about early access to superannuation for people who are experiencing financial duress. Do you think that the government shouldn't have been pushing this so much? It is going to have a long-term impact on people's superannuation value in the long term, but the government's been pretty firm saying it's people's superannuation. If they're in duress now, they should be able to access it. Oh, look, I think it is a, uh, a sort of vexed issue. It has a, a great deal of complication about it. And, of course, it should be a measure of last resort. Uh, but we don't want to have people uh, that are uh, in dire uh, straits not being able to access that super. What we do need to look at is how we make sure that the cash is made available in a manner that is sensible. We don't want to have uh, uh, superannuation funds selling stocks at, uh, uh, at the lows in the market uh, in order to be able to uh, provide that cash to, uh, to, to um, investors or, or into, into workers' pockets. And we also need to think about, uh, on the other side of this, if they do take uh, money out, how they might be able to restore that position without finding themselves in an unfavourable tax position. It is a discussion that needs to be had.